So we're going to record a new clip and I'm going to show you guys one of the most amazing features of Ableton Live, which is quantization. So let's record this new clip. And now you'll notice my timing was a little bit off. You can see if you look in the background grid, how close your notes are to being on time. And you can see right here, they're not starting exactly right on time. So there's a thing in Ableton called quantization that sets Ableton apart from a lot of other recording DAWs and music software out there. It's so easy to time things together so that everything's playing in sync and it makes for a perfect day. So in order to mess with the quantizing, you can right click in the background and you can choose quantize, which will instantly lock in every note on the default setting. Or I can choose quantize settings, settings to get a little more detailed with how I lock these notes into the timing of the project. So if I click at the top window, maybe I want to choose somewhere around eighth notes and you can choose where the note is locked in at the start of the note and the end of the note. And so it'll lock both the beginning and the end of the note into time based on what you select here. So I, I'll choose start and end. And then you can choose the amount of quantization, which is really cool because in a lot of electronic music, everything is so programmed and robotic sounding. Um, so being able to adjust the amount of quantization kind of gives it more of a human element and a human feel. So a lot of times I'll leave it between like 75 to 85% to give you that realness and that human error in the way that the swing and the rhythm is, is progressing in the clip. So I'll hit OK. And now let's listen to it and everything should be locked into the tempo. Super easy, right? So if you take your cursor to the top up here, you can click and zoom in and out and get a little tighter into the grid and seeing what's going on. So if I zoom in close enough, you can see it's not quite perfect because I had the quantization amount set at it not 100%. Another cool trick with quantization is we can have Ableton do all the work for us ahead of time. So when we record something, it automatically locks in the notes to being quantized without us having to do it after we record something and do that extra step that we just did. So we don't have to do steps afterwards to edit. We can have Ableton quantize the timing of what we're doing in advance. The way you would do that is go to edit, go to record quantization, and then normally it's it has no quantization. Um, a lot of times I'll go in at the start of a project before I start working on anything and choose this because I like to play a lot of stuff live rather than programming and drawing all my MIDI notes into all my clips. So I'll choose 16th note quantization, which I usually choose if the BPM is 120 BPM or less. A whole lot more than that, you might be safer with just choosing eighth note quantization. That's a quick tip. So let's go ahead and record ourselves in a new clip and play it in real time and I'll play it back and you'll see Ableton fixed everything with record quantization. And I'll play it back. It actually sounds like it's a little bit off, but it's actually on. It's just counting as 16 notes. It's counting really fast. So it sounded a little off. It wasn't what I was intending to do. So that's a good example of of adjusting the quantization based on the speed of the tempo. So let's choose eighth notes and we'll be a lot safer and it should lock in more with this kind of rhythm of what I'm playing. So let's delete these notes. Let's try it again. It wasn't the timing I was really originally intending. So let's try it again. And now let's see what it does. So sometimes you can come up with happy accidents by having record quantization on and it'll just lock it into a cool rhythm and create a cool sound. So there's a fun tip for you on clip editing and quantizing. So play with it and we'll keep on going. Mm -hmm.